He was the he was the kicker. He was an All Pro several times over for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's kind of spent some time with us. He's Nick Lowry. Uh, he joins us on the Doug Gottlieb Show here on Radio Row. The on, Doug Gottlieb. There that, is no substitute. There 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 isn't. Um, it's so interesting to those of us who have lived long enough that because the Chiefs maybe post your career up until they got Pat Mahomes were always really good in the regular season and then would fall apart in the postseason. Actually, Marty Schottenheimer in 1990. Sure. Know, we were a good so same, team. Same thing. But, but, we, had, but also we never always, quite got there. And we'd lose, many times we'd lose at home, which is counterintuitive because Arrowhead's always been as good a home field as there is in football, right? Is it just as simple as Pat Mahomes has changed all that? You know what? I think you're talking about losing at home. We, we lost to Buffalo in Buffalo. We beat the you-know-what out of Buffalo when they were in the Super Bowl every year in Kansas City. But, yeah, there was a thing after I left yeah. in, in 94, uh, after the 94 season, we went to Buffalo in the AFC Championship game where we, uh, we seemed to lose more than we should at home. But it was still a very good franchise for most of those years. Sure. But there is a magical elixir that Andy Reid – and with credit to Clark Hunt and, and obviously Patrick Mahomes and Brett Veach, who drafted and traded down to get him, to get somebody who was, you know, just a once-in-a-lifetime gift, not just because he's incredibly agile and great thrower, but just all of the comprehensive insight into the game, the street ball savvy that he brings, and the leadership. Is there anybody more positive and consistent than him in terms of how he, he even uplifts the guys that, Hit him in the head on the other team. He goes, great tackle, great tackle. It's amazing. He's a he's a remarkable, remarkable football player, and um, uh, you know, and I think he's even refined himself, right? Because in years past, you take their first Super Bowl run where everything was an incredible comeback, mm -hmm. and it was so much based upon him, you know, pulling a rabbit out of his backside, finding Tyreek Hill, or just finding throws. And of course, you even fast forward to the 13 second, you know, tie to tie to go to overtime against the Bills a couple years ago. This team's different. Yes, this very team, different. He, this team, he's had to play smarter, a little bit more conservatively, yep. not make mistakes, mm -hmm. and then let the defense uh, win, win the game sometimes for him. Yep. Um, th that, like, a, as a personal evolution, I think, should be applauded. Because so many of us, we get to... We can't hang, adapt. No, we it's hard. We can only win one way. No, yeah. especially when you've won. It's, it's not like he was trying it his way and he was losing. He was doing it his way and it was yep. winning. Yep. Now we're like, listen, I know that you've won it on your own, yep. but now we have a different team. we got to do it a different way. And he's kind of accepted it. And he kept the team together. I mean, it could be, you know, and I know, players that will throw their team even subtly under the bus because they aren't performing. We started in the first game with lots of drops against Detroit on Thursday night to kick off the season. Led the league in drops. Never seemed to be getting better. And then Rasheed Rice, you started noticing about six games from the end of the season. Six catches, seven catches, eight catches, and being able to br break off his roots and become the veteran. I think the rookies think they don't have permission to ad lib but if you look at Travis Kelsey there's the greatest ad libber maybe in the history of receivers whether tight end or other is positions. that how he gets so wide open he can read former quarterback in high school he sure. can read he's the best person to ad lib to read the defense and know where the open spot's going to be you know it's interesting about Kansas City right you went all those years with good quarterbacks obviously the, the Montana year was was great uh, but all those years with good quarterbacks this is the first with a great but you go from who was considered the greatest tight end of all time to a new guy who could be considered the greatest yeah. of time. Tony of, uh, Gonzalez. Uh, yes. To, to, yeah. Well, Tony, is, first of all, he also handles his success well, whether it's Michael Strahan or Tony Gonzalez on TV today. Don't you love how they're humble people? But but uh, Travis is a unique animal because he may not be the fastest, but he's incredibly agile for his size, 270 sure. pounds, and he's smart as a whip, and he's on the same page as that quarterback. And I, I just hope he can play a couple more years because we can win a couple more. But so what, what we'll do you think the reality year. to that is? Is of, of how much he wants to play. I think that uh, I would not have been as sure as I am now based on the playoffs. I was there at the 23 below game, went down to the field. <laughs> you know, it's just amazing. But in particular against Buffalo and then 11 targets, 11 catches uh, to beat Baltimore. We had to have it. No one. Did you even pick us? Of course you didn't. Everybody was picking Baltimore. Uh, and they no, should have. I, I, picked, I picked Kansas City. You did? Yes. Yeah, well, you know you what? know why? Why? Pat Mahomes. Yeah, Pat Mahomes, and, and also you have a quarterback that can check off at the line of scrimmage when you know that play is not going to work, and I did not, I don't think I saw that from Lamar Jackson, and he is a great player and a great person, but we have the edge because you got to have all of those dimensions to be the greatest ever, and Patrick has them. Um, obviously, I'm like, for people who don't know your background, you're an Ivy League guy, 
um, and you've done a lot of things post career, which are uh, remarkable. Thank you. And now you're trying to help with the border crisis, which is it's a, obviously it's political uh, hot button topic. Yeah. But it's a real thing. Yes. What are you trying to do to help this out? You know, I was able to work in the offseason for Clinton and for H.W. Bush on the Points of Light and on AmeriCorps. Those are about service. This is about service. It's not about politics, which is it's a humanitarian crisis on the side coming in. It's, it's 20 suicides plus for Border Patrol agents. But this is a, a, an AI company that's going to make sure that the fentanyl crisis, which is killing 300 people a day, that's more than the Vietnam War. At the height of the Vietnam War, we're killing more people through fentanyl, child trafficking. There's some awareness now of child trafficking, and this helps people, law enforcement that are overworked, make sure that they have a chance to uh, to protect this country. And it's called that. Uh, it's called Massive Blue, the company, and then the it's called Overwatch. And you can find it at MassiveBlue.io, MassiveBlue.io. If you want some help, we'd be really honored to to help you secure your school, your community, your com company, your law enforcement people. Nick, obviously, uh, awesome to have you here. I'm guessing you think Kansas City is going to win the game. 26 to 17. I think that our man Harrison Butker, who's the best kicker in the NFL this year, uh, is going to kick four field goals. And as great as Pro Brock Purdy is, which he is, and great as their talent is, we've got the edge because of the same thing. We got number 15. Yeah, Pat Mahomes. It was great to catch thank up you, with brother. you. Thank Appreciate you so much you. for joining us, Nick Lowry. Joining us here on the Doug Gottlieb Show on Fox Sports Radio. Uh,